remember you had three questions when you asked me um, about this uh, panel, but I will I will comment and also um, say how does it look from from uh, from the perspective of my data global. Um, so first of all, again, congratulations on what you are doing. This is amazing work, and I, I hope you will you will succeed in that. We will be very happy, of course, from uh, my data global point of view to promote the the, the experience of Slovakia. Um, everyone heard about, the, um, uh, of course, Estonia, and Estonia is very, very far uh, ahead with with all the different actions. And even in Finland, we are looking to Estonia for inspiration and and learning. Um, and uh, someone said today already here that, of course, we have lots of ideas, but maybe not. Uh, clear solutions. So, of course, then my data as the concept was born not that long time ago. It's like 2016 was the first My Data conference. So it's only three years ago. And of course, the concept is still being discussed. What does it really mean, My Data? What does it really mean, ethical use of data? And, and can we actually, is this okay to actually sell the money, uh, sell the data uh, for the purpose of, of research or advertisement and so on? I've heard today a lot of, um, or um, at least it was it was translated this way that the person owns the data, and we also from from the perspective of my data we often say well that well just owning the data doesn't really mean anything. You can own the data and so what? You have your data, you know about who you are, what you do, but what does it really mean? So actually the the value of the data comes when the data is being used. So here we are talking not very much about the ownership, who owns the data, but who access the data and who is using the data. So that's, I think, very important also to remember that it's not only to actually give the people their data, but also to give people the right to decide how they use who, uh, who access the data. And then, so so this is this is also one 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 thing to to comment. But then, what is happening? I mean, about also solutions. There were already Mar Martin showed the DGME and the citizen uh, was it citizen me. Um, but there is also, for example, the the Japanese colleagues from from uh, My Data Japan Hub. They are working a lot on on My Data Japan there. And what is very interesting, I think, is something that. Um, starts to emerge something called data banks. So the organizations or the institutions that are working as these data operators to actually handle people's data. And this comes a bit from the, from the perspective that, of course, the, in Japan they decided to follow GDPR. They, they realized that uh, protecting personal data uh, against the big corporation is something that is very important and they want to do it. Um, but, of course, they, they see that GDPR brings a lot of um, responsibility to the individual for handling the uh, consent. So, uh, are we really ready to do it as the individual? Are we ready to, to, to handle all the consent and, and so on? So, they predict that more and more data banks will emerge. So, those private companies handling our data. And then the, the, the Japanese government is working now on, um, on, uh, on the legal aspects on that. So, actually regulating the data banks as the telecom companies are uh, are regulated um, and also still like you said you ask well risk and and what is happening of course there is a lot of ethical issues related to the to the use of personal data uh, we know that the artificial intelligence brings a lot a lot of potential but also there are di different ethical aspects and of course that's a very big discussion to but still to remember that it's not always uh, you know only on the opportunity side but also lots of new discussions have to be handled how we actually use this ai for i don't know profiling or predicting crimes and so on and so forth so okay lots of different from here to there thank you okay <coughs> uh, I will perhaps st stick to English because obviously no, nobody needs translation. <clears throat> so uh, let me give uh, two remarks uh, 
uh, basically concerning the, the user engagement uh, uh, regarding uh, the, the service of, uh, of uh, my data. Um, one thing is that, um, uh, okay, uh, the, the present uh, presented uh, concept uh, embodies actually the, um, uh, the very basic uh, values uh, on which uh, our society relies and uh, uh, it's very important for the policy makers to, to uh, ensure that uh, also uh, these um, uh, values are, are uh, stick to, uh, stick to uh, also in, in, in these times. But uh, I'm not that optimistic that uh, regular users uh, uh, care that much about, uh, about that personal data. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if there are any research about uh, how many uh, or what percentage of uh, European users understand why do they have to, have to click the consent about the cookies when they visit a new website. But uh, uh, I think in order to, uh, to achieve a, a good take-up of, uh, of the services, uh, the uh, functions of, of uh, sharing and, and using my data uh, uh, shouldn't be uh, perceived as, as a uh, cherry on, on the top, but uh, it should be very integral uh, part of, uh, of the service uh, right from the beginning. Uh, uh, it's uh, very good uh, in, in, the, in the proof of concept, and uh, uh, I think it uh, should be reflected uh, also in a, in, in a full-scale full -scale project. That's, uh, that's one thing. And uh, another one, uh, uh, the functioning of, uh, of this uh, ecosystem uh, implies uh, uh, good uh, data quality, which was already discussed. And um, uh, let's uh, face the truth, or two truths, uh, actually. Uh, we will never achieve 100% uh, quality of, of the data. And the second one is that uh, we will never be near 100% uh, uh, without uh, actively engaging users uh, because uh, uh, we have a legacy of uh, uh, tens or maybe hundreds of years of, of paper records which we just uh, transferred to, to computers and uh, uh, for the first time uh, in the history actually we have uh, tools and, uh, and the chains and uh, we also want to uh, to leverage the quality of the data by integrating the different sources which uh, we can compare and uh, combine and uh, uh, providing users with, uh, with form uh, in order to report the bad quality of the data is uh, just one relatively, relatively simple thing and uh, it's somewhere in the middle of, uh, of the road uh, of the process which we have to implement. It starts with, uh, with good communication, explaining to users that uh, uh, the fact that the, the government has uh, a bad quality of the data isn't actually the failure of, uh, of the current government. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, the, the, the reasons are underlying somewhere back in the history when we didn't have a technology which uh, we have uh, today, but uh, it's important that uh, we want to tackle this problem. We want to address this and uh, we need uh, the cooperation of, of users. So we need uh, uh, positive com communication of, uh, of these activities uh, uh, before the media do the negative one. It uh, didn't happen yet, but uh, it, it will come. If we won't do that proactively, that will come. And um, the, the second one is, is the, what uh, should uh, follow uh, reports of, of the bait data. Uh, uh, it will be tremendous work in, in some cases to, uh, to collect uh, the data from different data sources, compare them, uh, and uh, to make decisions by, by qualified uh, people in, uh, in public uh, administration uh, bodies. Uh, what is actually the truth, uh, which uh, should be registered in, uh, in the systems. Uh, those people have to have the, the, the legislation, which uh, will allow them to do that, uh, which will guide them. They will have to be uh, trained, and uh, it's, uh, it's actually a lot of work to do in, in the preparation and also in, in the implementation of these processes. So, uh, it will be a lot of uh, investments, but uh, if we want to achieve uh, near 100% quality of the data, we have to do that. Okay, thank you for comments. Do we have time for the question or should we move on? 
Okay, okay the one with the most mode votes is why is it Estonia and Finland so successful in digital transformation and data state? So word is yours. This is pretty easy question, but requires. Um, I mean, and uh, it's just it just comes to to. I mean, maybe I will speak more about Estonia and then and then Finland. But about Estonia, we all know that Estonia is far ahead, and they of course have, for example, uh, e-portal where all your data is is there, and uh, also very very well developed uh, health portal. So basically, you can really see uh, see your all uh, health record. And also all the doctors, nurses, and medical staff uh, in the country can, can see it. At the same time, you can track who uh, logged into your data and so on and so forth. Uh, very user-friendly and, and, and uh, very, like, you know, covering 100% of the population, e-prescription and so on and so forth. Um, what they did was actually that uh, they, they that was the, the decision of the of the parliament that was the decision on the highest level that they go for that so basically so called political will and also they just established the e health foundation uh, that get the very strong mandate to work on that to bring all the stakeholders together and to work on that what happened at the same time I will use this example of the health portal in Finland well in Finland and there was the discussion about it and, and, and good solutions were created that then the um, um, Estonian, Estonians used. But then in Finland it was more that, okay, three organizations will work together and will, you know, come up with the solution. And to this date, they, of course, there are some uh, initiatives and, and generally it's very, very good to live in Finland and handle all those uh, things in internet. But still, there is lots of gaps because you know it didn't really come from this you know there was no this super brave uh, decision so uh, that's that's you know based on this example I can I can answer that political will courage uh, decision that they want to you know they're a small country but they want to do outstanding things and of course that this is this is just easy for everyone to have the the prosperous estate so now they're winning on that so that's why it's it's great if if uh, you guys uh, have this courage and, and will and you are working on that. That's certainly the advantage today. Thank you for the answer, thank you for the discussion and thank you for the attention. <laughs>